Hey, good morning, everybody. Maple Dude here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the Maple Dude World Headquarters and just show you some of the things that we have here at our sugar house. And I'll get right into it. So I'm right at the back, kind of at the beginning stages of the process if we bring sap in. So back here are our sap tanks. And they're all lined up in a row under shelter. And uh, they're round bottom stainless steel tanks. And uh, that's where the sap is pumped into and it's filtered before the sap drops into the tanks, tanks by filters that hang above them. I'm not sure if you can see them there, but I'll flip the camera around and take a look. So up there we have these filter bags that filter the sap before the sap drops down in. Now behind me that's uh, an old 2003 Chevy Silverado. That's what we haul sap around with and pick up sap. Um, so that's a riding in style right there with about 300,000 miles. Now right here is a big plastic tank. Now some people think when they see that they go, oh that's for sap when they see it's full. But no, actually this tank is for our reverse osmosis. We capture the water that's taken out of the sap by the reverse osmosis machine and we use that to clean and rinse the RO membranes for rinse and wash cycles and things like that. But I'll show you the machine when we get inside. So now I'm coming around the side of the building and we're gonna go inside and actually I'm gonna take you right to the next step of the process. So we're going to go over here to the RO room. And right here, that's the RO reverse osmosis machine. Um, this is really what does most of the work. This machine has four uh, membranes, four eight inch membranes. Those are the thing that is in those four stainless steel vessels behind the machine. And under high pressure, basically sugar and water is separated and we capture the sugar and reject the water and it goes out in that tank. But we concentrate up to about 16 to 18% and it makes really great syrup. Some people will say that our old maple sap, it doesn't taste as good, but that is absolutely not true. We have made some of the best maple syrup we've ever made this year. And it's a much more efficient and much more uh, a fast time saver a way of making maple syrup. Over here, you know, we've got a stove, uh, we've got a freezer, we've got the three compartment sink, and right there's a maple cream machine. So we're doing a lot of maple cream here. Um, maple candy making machine. Uh, some of our specialty, the maple cotton candy machine. And then over here, a maple sugar mixing machine. Uh, the pan isn't on there, but that's for making and mixing maple sugar. Now, after the sap goes through the RO, I'm gonna take you over to where it would go next. So let me see if I can, up there behind me is a sap uh, feed tank for the evaporator. So the concentrated sap goes up there while the water goes back outside in the tank outside and that feeds the evaporator. So let's flip this around and right behind me this is our evaporator it's a three and a half by 14 natural gas evaporator um, it's it's uh, got a raised flue hoods everything like that so it's pretty efficient with natural gas you get a really clean burn and it's a very consistent heat not up and downs like with wood. So we, we get a nice even draw off of maple syrup. With wood, you'd have to be continually firing it really con super consistently, and it's a lot more work. I'll tell you that I enjoy this much more since we've gone to natural gas. A few years ago, we were firing with wood, but this keeps the inside of the shop so much cleaner. Um, there's no dust or ash or anything floating around, and you know that's great for a food production facility such as this. Um, literally, all I have to do on this thing is just press a button, it starts up, within a few minutes it's boiling, and then when we're done, I press the button, shut it off, and I'm done for the night. Don't have to wait for things to cool down. Now, 
ahead of me here, there is the filter press. So after the syrup comes off of the evaporator, it really actually draws off into this pan uh, or this uh, tank with, with wheels on it. It comes off through a, through a auto draw off that senses when the syrup is the correct temp. And then after it's in that tank, we go through the filter press. Now this is an air diaphragm pump filter press, 10 inch uh, with I think 10 banks on it. And it does a pretty good job because I think, depending on the consist or the uh, dirtiness of the syrup and what kind of settlings and whatnot in it and what time of year it varies. But earlier this year, I think I got about four barrels of syrup, four 55 gallon drums through it before I had to stop and change the filters. Now let's go over here into my little storage room or addition in the back. Um, let me flip on the lights. So back here guys, we've got just storage for extra things like supplies, filters, filter papers, spouts, tubing, stuff like that. Um, containers, things like that. I've got some barrels of syrup back here, some small drums. Um, so that's just a little storage area. Um, next we'll go over to the addition that we put on this fall and into the winter. I was simply running out of room in the original shop. And right here, what we have is a nice area for storing um, containers. Uh, these are all glass plastic containers that I use for my bottling and you know for my sales for the product that goes out to distribution to grocery stores and whatnot and things like that. Uh, right here's a pallet that I got ready yesterday. This is a pallet of various different forms or sizes of maple syrup and that's actually going out to a store in Utah. So from Wisconsin to Utah. Now behind me this is production from this year. So all those barrels behind me, this is 2020 maple syrup production. And like I said, I'm gonna fire up here in a few minutes and try to add to that total of barrels back there. So that's pretty cool to see, you know, all your work that you've done thus far and what you've accomplished. So let's go into the main back shop. Um, Ahead there, I've got a couple oak bourbon barrels where we age some maple syrup in it to do the bourbon barrel aged maple syrup, and that's a really unique product and it tastes really good. Uh, that's been a big hit for us at festivals and things like that and events. Um, there's a pallet of maple root beer if you're into that. Now I'll go walk up to the front of the shop. And again, behind me here on these storage racks, we've got, you know, bo uh, boxes for shipping, things like that, just miscellaneous supplies. Now up here is the front of the shop. This is my retail store located right here on Highway 10 in Granton, Wisconsin, or just outside of Granton, Wisconsin. So if you're ever in the area, stop in, say hi, come check us out. We got things like maple coffee, maple popcorn, maple almonds, pancake mix. One of our favorites again, the maple cotton candy. Uh, gift boxes. Over here, the maple dude gear, the maple dude sway. You can pick up some hats and some sweet shirts. And then of course, the maple syrup. Different sizes, different uh, containers, wide variety of that stuff. Maple sugar. Over there in the cooler, maple cream, that's a really hit. That's a good product, a real unique product that most people probably haven't heard of or tried. And then I wanna show you one new product that we have right here. This is the maple shot. This is a one ounce size of maple syrup that you can take anywhere with you. Um, take it to that restaurant that doesn't serve the real stuff because you can't have breakfast without real maple syrup at your favorite breakfast place. But of course, this one we developed for more than that. It's for athletes, it's for runners, bikers, hikers, campers, 
things like that where they need a quick hit of energy but do it the natural way so this is the maple shot you can check that out online but uh, and then one more thing over here I do sell maple syrup equipment making supplies and stuff like that so if you're into the hobby or you want to get started I've helped out many people get started with maple syrup and had a lot of fun doing it my advice is free and I can get you going and help you out so come check us out here for that so guys that's it that is a little tour of the maple dude world headquarters hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna get back to work and do some more syrup cooking today so guys thanks for watching I'll get back to you with some more maple content so remember guys always keep it real until then